Hi Camp Craft. So today I'm going to show you how to make these little um, earrings, bits of jewellery using polymer clay. So let's get started. Today we're going to need some polymer clay. Um, you can buy polymer clay online um, and it lasts a really, really long time. It's non-toxic. Um, it's really, really safe to use um, and you can get loads of really, really good colours as well. Um, quite often polymer clay will come with these little tools you can use, which is really good. You'll need some baking paper because we put the clay in the oven and I find it's easier to do the moulding on the paper as well because you don't make a mess on the table um, and if it sticks to the paper, that's not an issue. Um, I've also got some little earring back hooks because I'm going to be making a pair of earrings um, for my sister. Um, you don't need these. Using the wire things can be really fiddly. Um, I've also got some thread and a needle um, for threading some bracelets and things as well, which is a little bit easier um, and less fiddly to do than using all the wire. So let's get started. First things first is you want to get a little section of your clay ready. So I want to use some of this white, first of all, but obviously you can use whatever colour you want. And I'm going to use my little clay tool just to cut off a small section. Now, my polymer clay is sort of crumbling out of its packet um, and once it gets a little bit warmer in your hands it will start behaving more like normal clay so I'm just gonna try play with it a little bit so it's a bit hard work on your fingers you might need some help from a grown-up and um, you just want to fiddle with it just until it starts behaving a little bit more like kind of play-doh um, or just normal clay A little pen that I'm using the rolling pin. I'm going to carefully roll it flat. I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to just squeeze in any of these little cracks that are forming because you will get cracks on it and that's fine. I'm going to roll it again. I'm just going to keep on rolling until it's the thickness I want it to. So now I'm going to cut out some shapes from the clay and mix some colours together and show you the results. So I'm just going to show you what I've made. So I've used the lid of a glue stick to cut out some circles and I've put a hole at the top and a hole at the bottom because I want to put a wire connector at the top here for my little hook and I want to put some wire at the bottom so it can have some extra things hanging off of it. You could use this and you could use it like a button. You could put some holes near the side to thread it through like beads. It is entirely up to you. You need to think about what it is you're making and where you want to be able to put some string or some wire to create the thing you're looking for. I used a pen cap to punch out some little circles. Here I have used some wire to draw a heart shape and to neaten up the edges and cut it out. So I've just drawn it with a wire or you could use a pin Draw that heart shape and just use that to score along the edge. Once you're happy with the shapes you've made, you're ready to bake. Um, the instructions say to put it in the oven for about 25 minutes um, at 130 degrees. So that's what I'm going to go do. And there we have them. So they're all quite hot, obviously, and they're a little bit tacky still. But once the heat wears off and you cool down, they'll harden up. Then we can start turning them into some jewellery. Okay, so my polymer clay um, beads have all had time to cool off. Um, they're nice and hard now, they're not sticky, um, they don't feel hot to touch, so they're much safer for me to start using now. Um, I'm going to show you first of all how you can use some thread to turn them into bracelets and necklaces. Put the thread through the eye of the needle. You'll probably need a grown-up to help you with that unless you've got some needles with really large eyes. Um, it is really tricky. It takes a lot of practice. Um, and then tie a knot in the end of your thread so that your bead doesn't immediately fall off. If you have a look at some of the holes in the beads, they're quite large, so you might need to do a double knot because you don't want it to all fall through. Now.
and glue a bracelet. So that is one way that you could use these beads. Now I'm going to show you how we can use the little hooks and wires to make some jewellery. So the hooks come and they are a little bit open like this. You can use pliers to make that hole bigger if you need to as well. Probably will need a grown up to be helping with this because it is fiddly. You just want to slot on your bead, nice and simply. Um, you can then close that back up with pliers. I'm not going to do that just yet though because the bead really is on there quite safely. And then we need ooh, one of these little wire extenders as well. And it's best if you put a bend in it already so it can catch on to where you're feeding it through. And you put it through the bottom hole of the bead and twist it round and then push down to close it so it's hanging down like this. Then I'm going to cut this little hoop off. If you have wire cutters it's probably better to use than scissors but the wire is very thin and you can just use scissors if you need to. And then I'm going to fold this bit round as well and open up this section so I've got another hook. I'm going to put on my last little bead. So feed it through the hole, connect it on and close those gaps together. I'm not too worried about them overlapping. I think it still looks quite good. And that's how you make it using some wire. And voila, you've got little earrings.